have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Kleinman from Azincourt Energy. How are you today, Alex? Great, Tracy. Thanks for having me. And always good to see you. Uranium is so hot for many of us right now. And of course, you have a uranium play with cash in the bank, institutional followers. What's happening? Just why don't you start with an update for us? Absolutely. Well, we just finished our largest gold program to date at the East Preston Uranium Project. It's located in the southwestern portion of the Athabasca Basin, which is obviously ground zero for higher grade uranium discovery. Um, this uh, program uh, at 5,000 meters, we've got 19 holes down. The significance, uh, significant results so far from this program has been able to delineate 1,700 meters and growing of alteration zones. And these are critically important for making impactful discovery. Uh, alteration is typically found in and around deposition, uranium mineralization, acts as a halo around where, where you're going to find it. Uh, so uh, this is significant. The, 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 the ground is, is ripe for uranium deposition, and uh, we're real close. So we're, we're excited about that. Um, we didn't have any alteration that we had drilled into in the limited work that we'd done before this year. So obviously this is a great uh, discovery for us and we're, we're excited to get in and drill more because we think we're in the neighborhood. Well, speaking of significant, um, for a, a company of your size to have 28 institutional investors, that's nothing short of magnanimous, uh, stupendous, and absolutely unheard of. Can yeah. you tell us what's really going on here? What do they know that the yeah. retail audience should you know, yeah. catch wind of? That's a great question, and, 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 and I'm happy to, to throw my two cents in there. Obviously, listen, they do their due diligence. Their technical um, technical deep dives are pretty intense, uh, so you have to survive that. You have to have real projects. You have to have a real potential for discovery and impactful discovery, not just something small, but something of district scale size. Um, that's why they put their money in us. Um, they like the projects. Each fund went through a due diligence uh, period with us where we, we gave them all the data we had. We showed them exactly what our exploration model was and, 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 and uh, it fits their criteria. And I think one of the things that we see now is and why this is different than maybe four, five, six, ten 10 years ago is, is where spot prices were at. And because I went through the bear for a long time, I mean, I became CEO of Asimport in 2017, which is really kind of the, they're talking about the doldrums. Um, you know, couldn't get a fund in the door. Uh, it, and, and a lot of them were, were respectful, but, you know, I mean, I'm sure they laughed when, after my call because, you know, what have you got? You haven't got anything yet, but, you know, we'll keep an eye on you. I love that. So a few years go by, all of a sudden spots at 50, 55. Um, they're seeing where the sector's going and they know that you can put money in an explorer uh, in in in, in in this environment, um, in, a, in a way that you couldn't do it before. And, and, and I think um, that had a lot to do with it. Obviously, we're in the right place. Projects stand the, the test of their due diligence and uh, the macro sense, the macro space, um, they're making their bets that this is going to, you know, we're going to see 80, 90 hundred dollars spot. Has the interest intensified with the Ukrainian invasion? Uh, it has. Um, and, and, you know, I, I would say absolutely. Um, because that there's a major supply disruption um, that really hasn't manifested itself in the spot price yet. Uh, and, and again, there's a lot of things that haven't manifested themselves in the spot price yet. The, the, the 10 year contracts that US utilities are supposedly supposed to start signing, that we haven't seen much of that. Um, all of the things that we think are going to drive that spot price up, we kind of haven't yet. But it's an upside down world, and you know, black isn't white anymore. So, and we're going to ride it out. All the smart money is saying that we're going to see this much higher price of it in a short period of time. So within the next year, uh, I think we're, we're, we're here. I mean, look, we're, we're at 55, 58, 60. I don't know where it's at today, but it's in that neighborhood. And, uh, you know, I mean, I remember $18 spot, $19 spot. And that wasn't too long ago. So you have money in the bank, 10 million mm -hmm. in the bank. Uh, drilling is proceeding as anticipated, correct? Yeah, no, we just wrapped up. Um, in fact, we put news out yesterday on that. Um, and again, it was, uh, we wanted to stick around a little longer, but but after going through two weeks of extreme cold, before you knew it, we were, we were seeing plus seven degrees and you just can't 
trust ICE in that environment. And, you know, to get to some of the targets that we were actually drilling uh, at that point, uh, we had to cross uh, frozen rivers and frozen lakes. So you don't want to get caught waiting too long where you now you incur more, more costs to pull, pull gear out with helicopters. So we made the decision to cut it back. Um, and we only lost really about a thousand meters. Uh, but still to, dil- to drill 5,000 meters and come out of it with 1,700 meters of, uh, of alteration zones, that's a, that's a pretty good ratio. And if you'd asked me prior to the drill program, if, if I'd accept that as a successful drill program, I would have absolutely said yes. Well, Alex, it's always a pleasure. You heard it here, an update on Asincourt Energy. And this is Alex Klenman. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. Always good to chat.